A marker is used to tag a part of your project. This is so you can quickly know where your parts are in the song. Markers can be great for marking the verse or chorus, for example, so you can quickly know where each section is of your song. Markers are also great for keeping your projects organised. A messy project will stress you out and really confuse you when you're trying to make your music. So remember to keep your projects organised, tidy and neat for maximum productivity. Let's quickly go through how to actually use markers. So if we click on the global tracks button over here, this will bring up a few different tracks for your global settings. Arrangement, marker, signature and tempo. Here in this section you can control global settings for each one of these. This basically means that these will control all of the tracks. For now let's just look at markers. Markers will allow us to put markers at certain points of the track. Okay, so all we have to do is click on this plus button here and it will create a marker. As you can see, it's created a marker with the name Marker1. If we double click on it, then we can actually rename it to whatever we want. For example, we could name it Intro. Or anything else like verse, middle eight, depending on where you are in the song. We can also alt click these markers to copy them over. For example, if you have a song where the chorus comes in three times, you can drag the chorus marker over twice to make three chorus markers.